Hello full stack web developer and welcome to coding for all. The only channel required to become a full stack web developer with practical applications and utilizing free resources. In the last video we learned about parameters and arguments, output and return values and a few challenges like life in week challenge, BMI calculator and there was a short quiz. In this video, we will learn about random number generation, then we will make a love calculator, conditions and logic including if else statement, comparators and equality, combining comparators and then at last we will have BMI advanced calculator. Now before we start our lecture formally, like the video and subscribe to the channel so we may learn and grow together. So now I will give you a tool that you may use if a person loves you or not and the secret behind that tool is JavaScript. The tool is Love Calculator and the formula is right in front of you. Variable n is equal to math.random. So a random number will appear and next time when you are with friends and family members you can use this to see the true love of everyone and just don't trust the words. But before we go on to that part, there's a bonus thing for you that wasn't included in the lecture that I told you before that what we are going to cover now. So it's a bonus thing for you. I will tell you how you can generate dice numbers as in Ludo Star on any other game using JavaScript concepts that we have learned up till now. For this we will start with var n is equal to math dot random and when I will multiply n Six. So it will give us a number maximum up till 6. So now math is equal to math dot low. The reason behind this is we don't want the dice number in points in decimals. And when I put n plus 1, that means that it shouldn't include 0. It will start from 1 and the maximum value it will have is 6. So when I now console.log n. So first of all, just clear everything. And now just run 1. Two, five, one, three, four, five, four, five, six. You see, so now we are getting every number that we want to have, and we will use somewhat same concept to make a love calculator in the upcoming challenge. So just remember this concept that we just generated a random number, store that number n. Then we multiply that number with 6 so that the maximum number should be 6. But it will start from 0 and the random numbers that are generated with the formula of math.random are in decimal. So we don't want it to be in decimal fun uh, numbers. That is why we have written math.float. So it may round it off to the nearest whole number and it, we have added 1. So it shouldn't show us 0, but it should show us starting from 1 up till 6. And console.log is there to show us the output without creating an alert or pop-up message. Now use this uh, concept to solve the challenge that you will have in upcoming minutes. 
Now your challenge is to ask two names from the user and then show the user how much they love each other and it should be in percentage form. You will have to use the concepts that we have used up till now to make this love calculator. So pause the video and give it a try. So in order to ask him you will write wrong. The name of first person or first name or second name would be good from the name of first Second person then there will be a random number generation application is equals to math dot random. And that number should be a whole number, it should be the maximum up to 100. So that is a love relation. So love or relation multiple up to 100. And then I think relation is equal to math dot. Old, which value love calculation should be there and as it should not be zero we don't want persons to fight so that is why plus one and then we will create an alert message which will have first name Loves second name love patient so let's see how how it goes for example Dalha means that the name, my full name, but Dalha loves but 91% very nice, but I think I should create a cap here. Let me test this now. Dalha. But yep, the so loves for 29%. Wow, I my first name loves my second name like this. So how did it go? So this is how you can become a love guru and you can know if the person loves you or not. So this shows that love is a random process, but we can use custom messages too by using conditional coding and statements. And so for that we will proceed further and for this we we will use if else statement like if you have liked the video then continue else like the video and then continue so something similar will be here with our love calculator we will set our range and then we will give a customized message according to that range For example, we can show if love calculation is greater than se 70. Oh, where's my 70? Yeah. So, alert. Uh, 
first name and second name are soulmates. Else you can show this message. So let's see how it goes now. Tala, but Salah loves but three percent only. Okay, that's not good. So we can see A loves B. Okay, it's again three percent. What is happening here? R T. Oh, now they love forty one percent. So I need to try this many times, I think. So why don't I create apple mango? Two percent. What about mango? Love apple. Fifty-eight percent. Now we are getting close. Or why don't we increase our range? Because this is otherwise becoming a much more difficult. Because we can't tell that when we are going to see that output. So viewers, coding for all. Only Jefferson? Is that true? That's not good. Coding in me. Oh. So you know how difficult it is, but you got something. Uh, it will show this message that we, two soulmates only when it's fifty percent or more. Otherwise, it will show the same message. So this is how we edit our code and make. It a bit more sophisticated version of love calculator. Now we will move on to further different concepts. So to make this conditional statements better, now we will use one more concept, and that is of comparison and equality. So the expression are as follows: equal or not equal, greater or smaller, great or equal, small or equal. For and you are going to use double and and for all you are going to use these double straight lines. The difference between two equal signs and three equal signs is that two only checks the value, whereas three checks the value as well as data types. For combining comparators and equality, we will use combination of conditions like and or or. So by using this, we create. We will create a more modified love calculator, and so for this we will go back to our snippet, so where we will use much more practical things. Now we will again use this, but we will set a range now. If it's Greater or equal to seventy, then use this. If love calculation is smaller than seventy, and love calculation is greater or equal to 50 then you can say that you need to spend more time or oh, why don't we make it 40 first name needs to spend more time with Second name else. So when these two conditions are not fulfilled, 
So if it's lower than 70, greater than or equal to 40. But even if it's lower than 40, then what should it show? Message that we were using before. First name, oh, I'm sorry, not like this. First name loves second name of calculation. So let me test this now. Apple, mango. Apple and mango are solids. Wow, so it means that it's greater or equal to 70. Okay. Banana and apple. But I don't need to spend more time with apple, so it's in second range. Now, orange and mango needs to move, needs to spend more time again. Okay, what are A and B? They are two soulmates. So that is how you can make a bit more advanced love calculator with new conditions and even giving the output that they should have. Now BMI advanced challenge is the last challenge for this video and it's going to be a bit difficult and you will have to use all the concepts that we have done up till now. It's BMI if it's greater than 18.5 then the out sh output should be your BMI is whatever the BMI is, so you are underweight. If it's between 18.5 24.9, then the output should be your BMI is the value, so you have a normal weight. And if it's greater than 24.9, then the output should be your BMI is BMI, so you are overweight. And I want you to use return values instead of alert values. So don't use alert, rather than use return values to which you can see the answer so pause the video and give it a try i hope that you have tried to make a function with a return value what you want to have as an output rather than console.log or an alert message so now we are going to proceed function so function is BMI calculator with weight comma height and we know that y BMI is equals to weight divided by Height multiplied by height so this is the formula and we can just store this value somewhere else interpretation for example it's just an empty value and if now I'm going to use the same conditions as I told you before if BMI is smaller than 18.5 then interpretation as we want it to be more in strength with one 
PMI value. So interpretation is equals to your BMI is BMI so you are underweight sorry underweight Otherwise, uh, either you can use LZIP, LZIP if uh, BMI is smaller than 24.9, then what should be the value? Interpretation should be your BMI is BMI so, so you have normal weight then there should be else Interpretation. Sorry. Your BMI is BMI. So you are overweight. And at last, you will return interpretation, so it will go back, and then we are going to use BMI calculator with value just to see uh, oh, like this. If we are doing this correctly or not i would recommend you to use 60 comma 2 just to test if we are doing it correctly if our answers are same so i would recommend you to write your answers below so that we can see how many of you did it correctly in the first try and if you don't get it you shouldn't worry about it you can just repeat the process and you will learn how we can do this so let me test the value now. Your BMI is 15, so you are underweight. So this is what your output should also show in the similar manner using 60 and 2. 60 as weight and 2 as your height. So this was a solution of advanced level of BMI calculator. Your solutions might differ, but know the logic behind and see the result that you get at the end. And I would say to just write that result in the comment section below just to see that how many of you did it correctly and how many of you tried it at least. And if you can and surely you will find some better solution, kindly share, share that with us so it might be helpful for others and we will learn a new concept. So this was all for today. I hope you liked the video and give thumbs up and have subscribed to the channel. In today's lecture we studied random number generation, love calculator, conditions and logic like if else statement, comparators and equality, combining comparators, BMI advanced calculator. So practice all the concepts as we are approaching to more advanced level. Until next week, good luck, take care and goodbye full stack web developer.